G'day guys, Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines here at the Fishing Monthly office and we've got ourselves a brand new Easy Tow trailer. And when we're putting this trailer together, I'm thinking, well, we've got some side areas here where you can step up into the trailer. They're going to need some non-skid material on them. And who better to do that than Andre from Diamond Deck. Uh, Diamond Deck's been a product that's been around for a couple of years now. And we thought this is a great opportunity to get the master to show you exactly how to apply this product. So obviously the first thing we need to do, we need to get this thing measured. And I don't want the diamond deck on these curved surfaces because I'm never going to step there. Okay. Let's measure this guy up and uh, find out what size we're going to need. It wouldn't be a problem if you wanted to go on that sort of curvature, but we'll look at an area of uh, the main area that we'll be standing on. So we'll be looking at 800. 800 long. 800 yep. long. Now that's about 190, but we don't want to go over the curve there. So say 170. So leave, 170. Leave a little bit of room. Yep. And. Uh, Times that by two for 340, and that's the perfect 1500 by 340 sheet. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that'll work great. That's just cut hey, that in how half, that? and away we go. <laughs> right now, the first thing that you need to do is when you open up your diamond deck, slide it out. It's important you keep the bag. Yep. Because you'll you'll be using that bag later. And the great thing about this bag later on, you can lay it down and mark out areas and cut it on your diamond deck if you'd like to do that. So you can use it to check your measurements? Check your measurements and for areas uh, perfect for That's that. Right. So if, don't you, if you get these crazy little sizes here like these little triangles. Absolutely. This you is a good way little, to check your get, mat. You get your little triangle, you lay your bag down, mark it with a felt tip, there's your stencil ready to cut it. So don't throw the bag out perfect. Awesome. Okay so we're going to measure that now. We decided on 800. Yep, 800 long. 800 long. Wait up, wait at the end. Okay, perfect, 800. So we can just mark it at the top. If you want, it's always best to cut it through the top, not the underside. Because what you'll have is, if you're cutting it from the bottom here, you'll be forcing the adhesive down into the EVA. So you always want to cut it cleanly from the top. From the top. Absolutely. Too easy. And the other thing is, I suppose, because it's a grid here, Correct. if you measure one thing across, well, I've got a mark along here now that we can cut. So let's uh, get this sucker cut in half, eh? Right, and so we'll just go perfectly. Well, let's just go straight down that straight line. Straight down there, yeah. Straight down the line. Perfect. Yep. There we go. There you go. There's our mark. Now, when, you, when you're going to cut your diamond deck, the important thing is to make sure that you're holding this ruler steady. That's one of the important things. If you're not holding that firm, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be cutting it. The ruler is going to be going down as you're cutting it. So hold the ruler firm. I always like to get one clean cut to so get a nice sharp stencil knife or knife and always look at the way you're cutting it too. If you're holding it on an angle, you will get an angle result. So perfectly just straight down. That's pretty easy, isn't like it? Like through butter, yep. perfectly, absolutely. If you would like to round the corners on this, what you can do is, if you need a guide, get a bottle, coin or something to mark out that. But it's very easy just to cut yourself around corner, like that, and away you go. So Andre, we've done an expert job of cutting the diamond deck. Can you give us a few tips about the best ways to apply it? And of course, the first thing, I read the instructions, you've got to have a nice clean surface, don't you? Absolutely, certainly. Clean the surface. And now if you're unsure on the product you're using to clean it, test a little area first. Yep. Don't go and spray on a whole heap of something if you're unsure the paint's going to come off. Test the product first, but you should be fine with most cleaners, general cleaners, um, so you shouldn't have any problems there. Now, the secret to uh, getting it right, you have to measure it out? You can measure it out, absolutely. If you wanted to get yourself a little pencil, I mean, you can even draw a line right around it so you've got a guide when yep. laying it down. It looks like um, we've got it about maybe four to smidge there. That's about right there, I think. So yeah, when you're happy with it, you can draw yourself a little, little key line. Yep. Like that. At least it gives you a guide when you are yep. laying it down. Because when you're applying this, especially in the sun, it will become pliable. It's slightly softer than you would. Yep. 
in a shaded area. Now, what about uh, the secret by... Uh... With regards to uh, applying this, the one thing you don't want to do with this is peel all that off and start doing this yeah, thing. Yeah. You go like that, you're not going to be... Once it's there, it's there for the it's, day? It's moving. <laughs> it's not, that's exactly right. You uh, want to get it right first. So the key thing to do is just peel a little bit down, like such. Fold that down. Now it's important. Now this is where your key lines come in here. Yep. So once you've got that lined up, now, even though you've got that little bit there like that, I can guarantee if you pull all that piece of paper off, the backing sheet, and go to lay it down, it's gonna go off skew with. So the key thing is, just a, a few inches like that. You want me to rub this down as we no, go? No, well, you can, but if you're doing this by yourself, yep, yep. which is a DIY, you've, you've laid that down, see? I'm making sure that's straight and then a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Yep. So that you're only doing probably what 15 centimeters at a time. Here. Absolutely. And see, and then again. Make sure it's straight. Make sure it's straight. And with that folded underneath the backing sheet, it's holding it up here, making sure that's straight. Yep. That's right. There's that little curve in the backing sheet that's Absolutely. keeping it up. It's keeping it up. That's yep. right. There you go. Get it to that point. I reckon that any any home handyman can have a go at this, and even if you're not that handy, this isn't a difficult process. I tell you what, once you start doing this and cutting it and applying it, that's when the fun starts. You'll do the whole rest of the trailer then. I have seen guys that have got this across all of their boats. Oh. So there, there you go. go. And that's how, that's how easy it is. Now just finally, before we, uh, we you let me loose in doing the rest of this trailer, <laughs> What about care and maintenance tips? So I'm going to be dunking this in and out of the salt water. How do I keep it clean and keep it Look, good? Yeah, give, I mean, you can hose it down with a gurney. You can use a scouring pad on it. Um, no problems there at all. But if you are using high pressure, don't go in too close. Same as you wouldn't on your car, uh, paint on your car. So, um, yeah, but I've got plenty of um, cleaning tips and videos also on the website. So tell us where the website is, where you can go and find out the ideal piece so, of diamond deck for your boat. Worldwideweb.diamonddeck.com.au um, dot, and go to the where to buy link, type in your postcode and find a local independent stockist. There you go. So uh, Andre's given me the hints. I'm now going to get let loose on the fishing monthly trailer <laughs> and uh, I'm going to diamond deck the absolute yeah, Jesus out of this. <laughs> so thanks for coming around, Andre. No and, problems. Uh, great product. Excellent. Thank you. So there you go with just a few simple tips from Andre from Diamond Deck. Even fishing monthly, people who are sort of not really handy, we can get this whole boat uh, trailer diamond decked, non-skidded, and it doesn't look half bad. So uh, don't be afraid of trying it when you're at home and go and check out the Diamond Deck site for more of their products.